Well, we went from a pretty nasty evening of weather to a gorgeous, oh. gorgeous Thursday in Pittsburgh. Oh, well, let me tell you, uh, yesterday's temperatures at 94 yeah. were the hottest we've had since September of 20. 18 so years since we've had temperatures like that on top of it the storms today i think i'd take oh. any day over that this is a keeper yeah i know and uh, i have to stare at this we have a monitor in the weather office that has this picture on it <laughs> and i have to look out and see this beautiful beautiful day that's that's in pittsburgh and man let me tell you i would love to be outside right now 82 degrees low humidity warm temperatures light breeze just a just perfection when it comes to summer type weather. I know 80s are warm for some, but uh, considering that 80 is normal, this is a classic summer day in town. We have 83 degrees in Irwin. Greensburg's at 81, 85 in Aliquippa, Washington 81, Waynesburg 77 for you, Butler's at 80, and Newcastle at 78 degrees. This evening, if you're taking the dogs for a walk, it should be Pretty perfect, a little warm the next couple of hours for some, but those temperatures do dip down into the 70s by the time we get to about 9, 10 o'clock. And this picture is of Penny, courtesy of Lauren. And it looks like Penny's enjoying some water and good, good day to let the dogs take a swim too. Actually, the next couple days will be as well. 56 for tonight in Pittsburgh. You get 55 in Butler, Clarion 57, Washington 54, Johnstown 58 degrees. So. Very comfortable temperatures for the overnight hours and tomorrow we're going to see highs returning to the mid 80s. So we have these warm temperatures area wide. The lower 80s are normal for this time of year, but we get that 85 degrees for tomorrow. Now, if you have any pool plans the next couple of days, there are not going to be any issues. We got sunshine tomorrow. Sunshine Saturday. Both these days are going to be warm, but I do need to address one thing. We're still pretty early in the pool season before performing a cannonball. You have to yell cannonball. It is etiquette at the pool, and I think people have been a little lax on that. So big rule for you there. Now, mainly clear skies for tonight, mainly clear skies tomorrow, mainly clear skies on Saturday. Are you catching a trend here? We have some great weather the next few days. Now, Sunday, a little bit of a different story. While we will start off with some sunshine, those clouds are going to build in and later on Sunday, we see our next chance for a thunderstorm to develop. So uh, that's the only chance for rain really we have in the next week. So 57 clear skies tonight, light winds, beautiful, comfortable night with the low humidity as well. Tomorrow 85, a sunny day, a warm day with light winds. And tomorrow morning, check this out. You're going to have the crescent moon in place. But if you look at the planets, it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. We're going to get five of them in order in the sky right before sunrise. This is going to happen about uh, 505 tomorrow morning is the best shot to look at it. Look east southeast and you'll see those stars lined up with the moon in between. So it should be a, a nice thing to see there in the early morning sky. We'll have clear skies around for the early morning and for the mid morning and through the rest of the day. So another bright sunshiny day come Saturday, mostly sunny again. Sunday is our chance for thunderstorms. We get some afternoon storms there dry beyond that. And you can see we get a cooler couple of days Monday and Tuesday and then our temperatures build back up for Wednesday and Thursday of next week.